We will start immediately with how pros play dash in the 6th Invitational 21. Eagle Mass. I will try not to use too much of Shaiko perspective, as he asked me not to do that in my Discord. At the start of every round, pros always check where the objective is, like how Shaiko or Alems will check if they will be facing basement hold or top floor hold. Knowing what you're dealing against as soon as possible is crucial because of the location of the preparation phase drones. This will allow entries, usually Ash, to get the required map control quicker. Taking a glance at the MKRS match, you will see the security is drone, a drone on the top of the Y stairs, penthouse, and VIP drone. Just by the placements, drones can see the entirety of the penthouse side, who goes in or out of the defenders but also if they will be C4 from below. Having one player switching between the drones as Brit does on Clubhouse right now gives you the immediate knowledge. For similar reasons, you will see Shaiko risking his drone to check who is reinforcing garage walls to see which operators defend their pick. With this drone, he also might see the utility being put in the garage, like Evil Isis. The sole info at the early start makes a lot of easier for your IGLs to decide on what to do during the round. Static on Ash will perform a beautiful team-based rush to get main stairs in control, mainly based on the lack of the utility on that side. The idea is, Zoe impacts the barricade whilst Ash opens up a random hole with a bridge in charge, just to make that sound. During that explosion, Ash goes straight against Jaeger as Zofia will destroy the barbed wire that was put on the stairs. Notice how this will be a lot of harder if there was a bench at the top of the stairs, or if someone was watching vertical angles from the long hallway. With this overview we will understand the situation better. The static two drones found how there is no one on the first floor contesting them, as well as they spotted just one barbed wire by the stairs. The drone that is followed by the Ash and Zoe is greatly timed because that will screw up the crosshair of Jaeger, making him a free kill. We also can see that at the same time Ace is entering in study window, contesting angle towards Avi and Zombie, to occupy the rest of the defenders, whereas Harp is entering from study balcony and going towards study. At this moment, within just 60 seconds, the hardest part of the take was done. Ash is more than just rushing. But that was just to show you how getting information as soon as possible is important as gunning people down. Ash is bringing a fine amount of utility. And that is the main reason why you'll see now Lolo being put on the flank watch, on the coastline. He's holding the flank and the only rotate for Goyo, till Bug beautifully with Yana pushes him away with a flash and Fragonite combo. She'll still be holding flanks, whilst her team is opening up the floor towards the kitchen. On the same note, Moringa on Team Liquid will never enter the building this round. First, you will see Ash repelling on the piano's windows, joining out piano so Maverick can safely Maverick the piano walls. After a bit moving around, this Ash charge hits the floor next to the bomb, where the two ADSs were stacked, coming up an evil eye. This was beautifully done. You can see how Ash is basically everything but an entry fragger currently. What she will do now is rotate to Weist window to allow Maverick to open up the toilet walls safely. Keep in mind how Zofia is also watching Maverick holes and can see the door. But what Ash is doing right now is watching if Maverick is going to be picked through the holes he's going to make. Opening up the toilet walls is essential to get White hallway in control. Now that they got the control of the toilet and down to done, last thing to do is to rotate to white stairs window, allowing the takers to push through the white hole. Since Ash is watching white stairs person and the takers pushing the hallway needs only to watch for the pillar's angle. Sadly, the match replay crashed, but Nomad will retrace Zofia on the top left corner, and two defenders are boxed in the small room. Try to guess who won the round. Also on Cafe, but this time Shaiko. His whole team will be doing the top-down clear, whilst he's just watching one angle. That angle cuts VIP T with the rest around, which is very important as well as the nice brown stairs rotation. He knows where at least two, 
and possibly Malusis. That's a lot of info for the BDS, but let me just say a few words about Dark Zero. The setup they have brought is default, but a big change is an active yokai drone covering up smoke from the T window. That yokai drone will disallow BDS pushing smoke out and will force BDS to drop the freezer hatch, funneling through the one door and one window, and obviously to a round loss. That's a, such a great setup from Dark Zero. Back to Ash. You can see how the barricade was opened the moment Shaiko lost the drone. He didn't want to give away what he was doing. He'll be opening up the T window to get ready to push out smoke, but sadly, the game crashes. Let's talk about Ash and G fragging, but don't forget how Ash is supposed to hold the flanks in situations where her utility is required, such as getting rid of the smoke shield at the VIP, getting rid of the cocktail utility in the cafe. And we'll see a bit of more examples in a bit. When it comes to that, it's important to split map in several parts. Let's see how BDS will do that. Brit is swapping between a drone in dining and by a drone hole, letting the following happen. Shaiko and Rafal pushing through the small tower, and Sledge is pushing through the dorm's big window, all at the same time. This was a pretty efficient roam clear from BDS, aside from LMs dying alone by the tower. This was the most likely idea. Three attackers are pushing from the west side, denying the freezer stairs. Breed spawns street, but also has one drone there to continuously deny lobby stairs. And then LMs should have stopped the tower rotation. This will mean no one gets up nor down from the defenders, which is brilliant. With the same idea, we'll be seeing Edge clearing just east side with the support of Zofia by Angels of Garage. Even if she's not inside of the building, or when she's in garage, she's watching important drones for Ash, so she has to worry about just one angle, which is Adam. Look how quickly the map was cleared, within just one minute, since the other part of the team cleared out the bar area. Now we are getting to the second part of the round, getting ready for the execution. This is Ash's drone, which will be in a good use to see the blue, so Ash and Zofia will be occupied with blue. Pushing deeper with the drone is to see the utility and where the defenders are. Find that one mistake in defense to abuse it. For example, if they hit Thermite, they could open up the ash walls, smoke off angles, and just push in. Why the kitchen hatch should have been opened previously? Eagle mess, don't hate me for showing too much of VDS. But at least, on defense, Breed won't be shown. But what I wanted to mention is, Look how Shaiko is getting the intel, but also how he's putting a drone prior leaving it. The drone is useful for everyone, and it is important to leave your drones in a way so it's not staring at a wall or a useless room. A great preparation phase drone that you can put in admin and to deal with the pesky spawn peekers. That is why you can see Virtue being aware of the angle. However, we are watching this clip because this is more of a hybrid ash. What you will see is Virtue opening up Archive's window to immediately stop defenders running out on the admin windows. And what hybrid here is, repelling on the paper window. This is more to help the admin repel to get the admin control, but still kind of anti fragging. Sadly, Virtue will get wall banged. The question can be where to enter when anti fragging? Faced with the help of drones in piano, trophy hall, and wine cellar, and Maverick switching between these two drones, Faze will push from the solar and the dining side. The idea behind this push is to get in the building as safe as possible, since defenders are holding gaming in bar. They are expected to be on that side, all the way to possibly office. So getting in building is the first step in the majority of the situations. Even in study, on Villa, you first want to get the map control below it, which is usually free. So as Ash was pushing basement, Sledge was repelling on the big window and went to the K9. So Ash, Sledge and Yana most likely to push out library guys. But again, it sadly crashed. Now, I would like to show a great way to use Ash charges. What we are seeing is a double bar defend and Ash will be opening up full quattro walls to isolate Ella instead of the Aqua. 
Cyber also opened up the blue bar vault, so from the rooftop you can see the corner spot below the camera. A very default spot when the takers open up the hook cut towards the sunrise vertically. For the quattro walls, Ella won't be able to go anywhere, so she'll be pinched from Aqua, Ash, Yana holding the angle that Ash made on the top. Maybe a better way will be to open up from below as Ash where Ella is, but they will manage to kill her with a bit of more fight. A good usage of Ash here is the ability of the free speed. Planking when the push for the blue bar is just happening. And most of the defenders are focused on denying that push or the plant. Ash pushing from a different direction is recommended. Now, some tip that applies to Ash but also applies to everyone. You will see Thermite watching Sky. And that's against the C4 from above, when Ash will be droning. When Shaiko stops droning, then he'll be watching for the C4. I will talk more about this in the smokes video, but abuse if someone is not using angles perfectly. Shaiko pushed so greatly that he managed to crash the game. But jokes aside, Smoke was using pretty poor passive angles, therefore it allowed Shaiko to just push him and kill him on the red stairs. The Banshee was put a little bit too high. Notice Jammer here, and we'll also talk more about this position in Iana's video. But sometimes things will change during the round. Since Liquid didn't fall the top floor, FaZe wanted to open up that vault, so Bullet was too kind to go under the trophy to use the charge on the jammer. Due to the act of this scout, the round was won as trophy control was granted. Another cool thing is always force irregular crossfires, as Shaiko will be doing, allowing Maverick to push deeper in the freezer with a frag grenade, so he doesn't get monkeyed from the freezer. What should be done better here is to sledge coring up the box angle. This was all possible because Ash cut the possibility of someone moving through the freezer with less regular crossfire, or even through the hallway. That's also what Ash charges allows you to do. What you can do is to mask your repel off or on by shooting around beforehand. Just how Bolo will do. This with the pair of the excellent siege sound makes a pretty solid hit. Last but not least, we'll talk about one more round, starting off. Know your parkour spots. Do know how to get on top of the CC's outside balcony with a drone on the clubhouse. What about this balcony and cafe? You will also see static preferring default spawn peaks, aside from one. The study window when going through the fontaine stairs. But regardless, this will be a pretty standard ash round. Not pushing study till Avi Vault gets hard breached by the ace. Then making fluent rotations between Nighty and Navi with opening up the Vault Wall. Then setting up a drone against the C4s because that's the only way to get flanked after getting the red stairs in control. What will be interesting is, when he'll be asked to destroy statutory shield, Static will first make sure that no one is watching from the Astro, and then he will do it when it becomes safe. Also, when he's doing it, his teammates will cover most of the angles, as well as someone breaking bedroom's window at the same time. Sadly, the round will be won by the defenders, but we'll have this round in Smoke's POV, and you will see how beautifully Alemao and the team won played this. This was extremely hard to make, and I'm saying this because I would really like to get any feedback. But the thing is, you cannot watch any other round than just the first round because of Crashes. Also due to the crashes, most of the time I had to divide one round in three parts. I had at least 150 crashes just for this kind of a video. Hopefully for the next EU League, NA League, APEC and the latter matches, the match replays will be more stable and we'll be able to talk about less common operators such as Warden, Echo, etc. And hopefully I'll be able to go slightly bit more deeper into the each round. But right now I'm forced to talk about operators that are only picked in the first round. But if you have any feedback, feel free to let me down in the comment section. I can't guarantee that I will be able to do that.